Hi guys, um, I've been away for a bit of a stretch, um, I'll get right into that in a minute. What had happened is, um, my phone that I used to shoot this stuff on died, um, it just packed in, uh, and a new phone I have is not great, it's got teething issues, the camera's great and stuff, but... Um, I don't know, maybe I was used to my old setup, I don't know, but it's not been working out great for me. Um, so that, I'm going to have to just, I've got to the point now where I'll be shooting very little videos like this. Um, this will be December's video, um, but I'll have to... I'll have to upload them clip by clip um, and maybe I'll put the photos in the videos maybe you'll just see them over on my Facebook page it's such a fucking ball ache to be honest but basically Boba Fett there's an A side and a B side to this shoot so um, I pulled my white Boba Fett out um, I like to think that he actually has this white arm somewhere um, and it has either special properties for snow planets or it's just like a base um, Mandalorian armour, I don't know. Um, but it contrasts really nicely with snow settings. Um, so I've got that Cassian Andor figure there. Um, he's just supposed to look like anyone in the Star Wars universe who's making a deal um, with Boba Fett. And yeah, Boba Fett's just like, nah mate shoots him um, and walks away so there'll be one photo where they're sort of um conversing and then the other photo will be this um and what else do i have to show you so also my lights all decided to pack in at the same time so i've got um light at the top just to light the back area up i've got a light on bubba on boba fett um and a little bit of the the Cassian figure, um, just to give it some light. I wanted it to be kind of dark at the same time, like sort of a going into the evening time. And then the last thing I did just to create a bit of a snow effect, um, I've done this many times over the years. It's, it's not the best way to do the effect, but it still works effectively, if you know what I mean. And that's just getting a cheese grater. And um, yeah, what you do, you get a cheese grater, and some polystyrene um this isn't me actually even using the polystyrene this is me just cleaning the cheese grater but basically you want to go for something like this and you need to i just realized i'll tell you afterwards you probably can't hear me but you have to do it pretty erratically um, to get a decent amount of snowfall, um, as you've just seen. And then, I do that a few times, and by the time I've done that, I'm absolutely covered in polystyrene, so then I, it's just a case of me um, doing this, and it really makes it look like it's snowing. Um, and I'm just using, like, a timer in doing this. Um, you want... <sighs> oh, man. I thought I could just blow the... What an idiot. Okay, carry on. Um, you can all laugh at me, laugh at my misfortune, there we go, um, yeah, you can go on a burst mode on a camera and do this, I don't know how you'd do it, I mean maybe if you had a second person, but um, if you have like a camera that can do the burst effect mode um, and you still have your hands free, this will look amazing um, when you do <laughs> Photos, my room is absolutely... Well, it's a good job it's it's coming to Christmas, isn't it? Because my room's absolutely lambasted right now with um, fake snow. So I'm going to leave it there. I think I talked about everything. Effects, props, lights. Um, I feel really under pressure to get everything in now, seeing as I won't be able to edit stuff together. Um, and I did shoot some awesome Mando photography uh, in my garden and I made a set but um, I've just lost all of that footage so um, 
it is what it is. Uh, I, I mostly do this just to... I mean, it's for you guys, but it's also to update my progress with my toy photography. So, um, it'll show up on my YouTube in some uh, shape or form. But stay tuned, because I've got quite a few ideas for Christmas shoots this month. Thanks for watching and subscribe. And like as well, I guess. What do you think?